and I literally was closing my eyes through the whole thing because it was horrific. It was so after three press ups, I was dead. I was so shy as a child, like the most shy little bean. The winter one was a person. No, because we've been waiting for IVF. Hello, welcome to today's vlog. I am in London today with Liam. We're here for the weekend. We're in a really nice hotel in Shoreditch and this is gonna be a little bit of a break from the series that I posted last week. I'm still gonna talk about kind of exercise and nutrition while being away just because I'm still on this journey and I think it'll be really helpful to see how I'm making smarter choices when I am away. I'm still gonna be quite active. Obviously my step count is gonna be through the roof. There's a gym here too as well so I'm gonna try and do a couple of workouts and I'll film the workouts for you too. And I feel like a lot of the last couple of weeks have really consisted of us going to our IVF appointment and thinking about IVF and it's been like kind of taking over a little bit so it'd be nice for me and Liam to come away and have a little bit of a break and yeah let's see what we get up to. Nice big bed. Nice. Big bed. Big bed. No that's that's definitely bigger than a double. Do you think? Yeah. It's hanging off the edge. That's where a double's supposed to be. <laughs> <gasps> Underfloor heating. Ooh. The bathroom's nice. Yeah. Wow. It's very masculine, isn't it? It's masculine. Yeah, it is masculine. It's very dark and gloomy and sexy. It reminds me a bit like the one in Madrid, actually. Yeah. London version of that. What kind of view have we got? Oh, a lovely building. Gorgeous view, that, isn't it? How much do you think Oh, flat? actually, you get a little bit of a view peeking How much do you think them flats will be there? Little balcony. Probably about 1.2 mil. Well, to buy, I thought yeah. you meant to rent. Um, 900 grand, at least. Probably more. Yeah, probably mil. Oh, no, we're in Shoreditch. A million. Easy. Can't be I like Sarah Beena. <gasps> Because I'm nosy, and I know you are too, I decided to do the groundwork and look on Zoopla. I found these on City Road, which is exactly the road where we're looking at. And these go from 900 to a million pounds. Insane. But then I actually did some more digging and found this, which I feel like is very similar to this building. It could be this building. This is a 1.1 million, but it doesn't even have a balcony. So I dread to think how much these are facing us with a balcony. Crazy. Go on. <laughs> I need to get a run up. <clears throat> oh, that's actually comfy. Yeah. What would you rate it out of 10? Five. Our bed's probably that comfier. Well, it can't be a 9.5 then because our bed's only about, about 5. <laughs> our bed's dead comfy. I wake up with my back every morning. Yeah, but that's because it needs replacing, like it's getting old now. Ooh. We've got robes, babe. Robes, in it. Robes and they're super soft. Ooh. These hotel toiletries are well fancy, you know. Mandarin, jasmine and vanilla. I'm going to have a shower because I stink. Just in the middle of doing my eyebrows and in hotel rooms, you know, when you <laughs> see things like this, this is like a, an ultra magnifying mirror next to the big mirror. This is just genius. I feel like we need one in our bathroom. It's ma it makes it so easy to get like the individual hairs on your brows. It's not a want, it's a need. One more thing about this hotel. The floor is heated. This is luxury. It's top tier luxury. It's beautiful. At this stage your makeup just looks really scary. <laughs> so I actually forgot to mention I'm doing something tomorrow that is totally out of my comfort zone. Um, super scary. But I know that when I do it and after I've done it, I will feel super proud of myself and I feel like it's going to boost my confidence. But yeah, the plan is, the plan is, because obviously I've spoken about the fact that I need to lose £10, 
um, I'm actually going to do like a, a weight loss week by week check in I think on YouTube I'm going to try and do it every week um, obviously I've got quite a lot coming up but I'm going to try and commit to doing one every week if not every other week um, so I'm going to update you all next week on how this week has gone it's honestly going really well so far right okay I look crazy but I promise I'm going to rescue this <laughs> see with me being on a weight loss journey and because I've only got about six weeks to get to my goal which isn't really a lot normally I give myself like three months if I've got a goal at least minimum yeah I've got six weeks so that means this weekend I'm not going to be like going all out trying all of the treats in winter wonderland and you know I'm actually gonna have to like watch what I'm eating and make smarter choices and this morning I actually already did that so we went to get a sandwich we we were rushing around this morning we had to get up at 6am so we was like there's no way we're gonna have breakfast um plus we've got barely any food in so we the fire alarm's going off yeah so um no need to cry about it Talking about my breakfast this morning, so we decided just to grab like a sandwich on the go. Now, obviously, this is not the best option for weight loss, but it's definitely doable. Um, so I first of all looked in prep at the veggie sandwiches. Both sandwich options had like 200 calories, 300 calories, and like minimal protein in. Protein is going to be your saving grace if you are on a weight loss journey. Um, because protein helps satiate you, helps keep you fuller for longer, as well as fiber. Um, but protein really does, really does help like curb the sugar cravings because you, you feel full. So I actually went up to m and because I knew that their veggie options tend to have like veggie meat replacement in. Um, and lo and behold, there was a better option. 20 grams of protein for like 400 calories. So obviously it was a bit more calorific, but I'd rather go for something more calorific with added protein than go for five grams of protein and probably be hungry about an hour or two hours after. Um, so that's just a little tip if you are on your weight loss journey. Definitely things that you can do while you're on the go to help curb the cravings. It's gonna make smarter choices. I'm still gonna allow myself to have like a treat here and there, but I'm just gonna try and be conscious about how much I'm consuming because realistically, I need to be hitting about 1.5 to two pounds weight loss a week, which is more than I usually do. Usually what I would do is I would really slowly lose weight over the course of kind of three to six months because it's just so much better on your body. Um, you're less hungry, you're less tired, um, you can put more into your workouts. There's just so many benefits to doing it slower. But I, unfortunately, I don't have the time. I'm doing something so exciting tomorrow. I'm super excited. Also very, very nervous. It's something that's gonna push me out of my comfort zone so much. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what it is now, unless I've, I've already put it in the title, for which you'll already know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's something that I've never done before. It's something that I'm gonna do on my own and I'm quite a socially awkward, shy person, so good luck to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you, it's really exciting. The thing that I'm going to is so exciting though. And this is the thing, I like to show that even if you're shy or and anxious, you can force yourself to do these things and not miss out. And I think the reason why I force myself so much is because I really struggle with FOMO. So I'm just, I'm just like, imagine you either miss out or you just force yourself. You just have to force yourself. And any and forcing yourself is the best, better option anyway because it will make you more confident. So there we go. <laughs> Winter Wonderland ready. Showing up it quick before. If want to win the Winter Wonderland as a person. Pam. <laughs> 
Oh, well, cream. Really like, that. <laughs> like a poo mixed with loads of cream. <laughs> <laughs> Got a vegan duck wrap and some chips. Therefore, I should have gone for the masala fries. Above us, below. Let go. Well, that one's not mine. I went for a lower cow one. Well, that one is dreamy. <laughs> I wish I was having that. <laughs> Skate, do something good. I want to go on that one. I know it doesn't even look that high, but no one camera, it doesn't look that high, especially when you compare it to that. Which do you mean the swings are the yeah? I meant the swings, or the tall thing would be good actually. I don't want to swing. You're such a pussy. Such a pussy. Same. Fuck me, that was funny. Yeah. Come on. We're going to the arcade. We're going to the arcade. Alright. Sure, you don't want to go on it? No, babe, you make me feel like a whip. Oh. I've lost all my confidence. Come on. So, we used to go on rides, haven't we? Right, we're going on the swings. Because it's not as spinning. And last time we went on one of the rides, Liam got really bad motion sickness and in the taxi on the way home had his head in, I don't know where it was, but <laughs> it was somewhere dodgy. What? I think I've got a fear of heights. Same. Fuck me, that was funny. I did it just for you. I literally closed my eyes the whole way around. <laughs> Do you, do you understand that? Oh my god, right that was so scary. Yeah, I understand now. I don't want to go on anything else. <laughs> not worth it, is it? Is it? How was that? It was horrible. Right. It was. It was. No, it wasn't that bad. To be fair, I did like enjoy it a bit, but it was a bit. Um, it's just. It's, I don't see what the point in putting yourself through that fear and terror for what? I pay nine quid to get scared. I know, and the that thing was is, I was giving it big billy big balls. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and I literally was closing my eyes through the whole thing because it was horrific. It was so high. Apparently, it's the highest in the world. Yeah, one it's of them. the highest in the world ever. Alright, so I don't want to go on any more rides. <laughs> We're too old for this. Yeah, we are. A, hang, a big hang. Oh my god, it's the third one. I keep missing it. We're practicing so we can win a Teddy. Yes. Yeah, because it's actually finally happening. Yeah, because it's actually finally happening. Yeah. Like, you can actually 
start to get excited for it. I'm <laughs> definitely excited. But <laughs> you don't want to get your hopes up. Yeah. yeah. I believe it when I see it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's still like. But you are very like that. You're very like logical, practical yeah. when it comes to things like that. Which is good. <laughs> What would you give it out of 10? That is comfort food in a partner. That's a funny number. You know you're in a posh hotel when they have a turn down service. Put slippers by the side of your bed. <laughs> and a little chocolate on the pillow. Oh, that is so Good. cute. Aww, it's that's stingy. That's tight oh, that. Yeah, but I bet this is dead. This is not going to be as comfy as yours. Be cleaner than yours, though. I bet you haven't washed that in about three months. Smells like. I like Barbara and John from down the road. Not that there's anyone in wrong with Oh, I didn't use video in there, but you know. John, that's You get a good angle. I mean that. I swear to God, I feel like I've had a drink. I don't know, that's what I feel like, but I'm just saying. What? I just said Barbara, you're wrong, you're going to score Barbara. You're going to score I estimated how many calories I had yesterday yeah. and I've estimated 980 calories and I'm, I'm supposed to be having like between 1700 and, eight, uh, 1700 and 1900 and you had 900? I had 1980 Oh 1900 Yeah <laughs> Unreal Literally smells like expensive people I don't know, it's bad. It literally smells like rich people. Yeah. That scent. That's what Molly May uses. Is that? <laughs> yeah. How did you find that? It was good, it was tough. I feel so sweaty. It was tough but good. I feel like I prefer that to running, but yeah. hit is still not my favourite. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. More exercises, anything that you can. But we did it. Yes. Four one grace, don't judge guys. Yeah, <laughs> we move. And the press-ups. I literally after three press-ups I was dead. I hadn't done press-ups in months. <laughs> is it just me who is red after I work out for about two hours. We got back from the gym nearly two hours ago and finally my redness has gone down. I've still got pink rosy cheeks, but man alive, I was concerned. Okay, so I've got about an hour left to get ready to go to the thing that I've not told you about. Um, so I'm gonna tell you now because I'm probably not gonna be able to have a chance to speak about it. So I've been following this girl, Millie Ghosh, I think her name is, and she's been sober for six years. Um, after struggling with like binge drinking and stuff, she's never said she's, she was an alcoholic, but um, I don't think she was an alcoholic, but she just was sick of getting really drunk and doing stupid things, embarrassing herself, feeling embarrassed the next day, anxiety, all of that stuff. The things that I can relate to. Yeah, I followed her for a couple of years and she started doing these events, like sober events, almost like a club day party, but for sober people. Now, this sounds right up my street because I love dancing. I love having a good time. 
I used to be, me and Liam used to party all the time. We'd go to Ibiza, um, we'd go to day festivals. We used to, oh, we just both love dancing. Um, and I feel like when you stop drinking naturally, you just dance less. And I just miss having a good dance. So this is right on my street called Dry Disco. It's in London. Um, it's from 12 till six. It's a Ministry of Sound, which is unreal as well. Um, and Millie and also Steph, oh, I can't remember Steph's last name, but Steph's also like a fitness, Steph's like a fitness influencer. I think it's Steph Owlswood. This is it, a dry disco club. That's Steph and Millie. Hey, we're Steph and Millie and we've made it our mission to celebrate sobriety. Last year we let our imaginations get the better of us and decided to host the world's first alcohol-free day festival for women. So we announced what we were doing on TikTok and you guys just blew the video up, which was madness. And then 300 of you bought tickets. So in May we held the first ever dry disco at Ministry of Sound. Anyway, so you kind of get the gist. It's like basically a club night, but they've got like um, a coffee stand, they've got food stores, they've got um, Kylie Wines. Kylie Wines does like a 0% wine and my mum actually bought it last time I went she bought the rosé and it was actually really nice so they've got like zero percent alcohol they've got mocktails they're doing like proper cocktails but obviously zero alcohol like a little workshop where you write a letter to your future self as well so there's a bit like self-development slash have a fucking great time and it's right up my street but yeah so that's the plan like going to this amazing event but I'm going on my own and I'm super nervous I feel like because I'm taking you guys with me hopefully you can hype me up um theoretically <laughs> let's just pretend you can hype me hype me up from the behind the screen and be like yeah Imogen go and have fun and dance because another thing is I used to use alcohol years ago when I was younger, I used to use it as like a tool of for, to replace confidence because I was so, I was so shy as a child, like the most shy little being you could even imagine. And I still am shy, but I'm definitely way more confident than I used to be. Um, like I just would, I'd just be mute in certain situations. <laughs> and, and this is like, mind blowing for me because it's pushing me out of my comfort zone and I know a lot of you will be able to relate to this as well because I feel like as you get old, older you're in less situations where you push yourself out of your comfort zone and you just kind of stick to what you know and obviously that makes you feel safe but it's not very good for social anxiety it's not very good for building confidence and yeah so that's the reason why I wanted to do this this is the outfit we've gone for. I've got this houndstooth cord on, um, like a little mini skirt and shacket, and a little white tee. And then I've got my puffer jacket on because it is freezing outside. Liam, you confirmed it, didn't you, this morning when you went out in shorts? Yeah, freezing. it was freezing. So puffer jacket is on and comfy shoes to dance in. Let's go. Let's go. We are going to be confident queens. Woohoo. We are three minutes away from the venue. My head's space. A week or it's been waiting for the right day. Like the right day ever comes. Now it's Friday. And I.
came out of the Ministry of Sound, right? Mm. All women, posy vibes, everyone's like chatty friendly, obviously everyone's sober, dancing, no one's bumping into you. You come out, it's dark, I go into the tube, <laughs> it's drunk men, most like 90% on the, on the tube is just yeah. men. And then loads of football, <laughs> football fans get other thing, and everyone's just pushing each other. And I was like, "Oh my god, I'm getting really overwhelmed." The complete opposite. Yeah, the complete just... opposite to what I've just experienced. And I was like, "Wow, <laughs> this is real life." It was quite a lot. <laughs> was the event good though? Yeah, it was amazing. Was it really? So good. Was it was really good. Yeah. It... Really. Yeah, that's why I, I literally. So see... is it like proper rave? So the last like three hours were last of three hours, that's long, that, isn't it? Yeah, it was six hours long. Did you get knackered just when you're sober? Yeah, because I think like obviously I'm introverted, so they got to a point where I was like, I have to go and dance now because I can't. I, my social battery's just like. Mm. What and kind I wanted of dance? to go dancing. What I kind of dancing do you do? Is like it was DJs. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There was one drum and bass song, so I was like, this is my chance, time to shine. <laughs> um, but mostly it was House. It was, it was a, um, not a fame, well, she is quite famous, Zoe London. Do you know Zoe London, is it? Londoner? She's like no. a, she's an influencer, but she DJs as well. My hand is hurting now, but I sweated all my makeup off. That's a sign of a good night. So, no, Mox, not Cox, right? What does that mean? What does that mean? Mocktails, not cocktails. Oh my god, I thought you meant something about that. And one, too, look, yeah. Kylie Wine, have you tried this wine yet? A 0% wine. I don't drink, I don't drink alcohol. No, it's non alcoholic, babe, right? Okay. Look, oh, I yeah, first tried it. Well, I was thinking maybe we could save one for Christmas. Yeah. But there's loads of mocktails. Well, I love a mocktail. So look, this is. I bought this, but these are all free. I've got all yeah, these free. Can you spice it? Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's not... just a coffee. But I've got loads more. There's dark and spicy. Oh, they've got these that we can make like gin and tonics with at home. Because obviously we don't have any tonic now. Sit but there. there's also, I've got, yeah. Worse, this one apparently is well nice. I wish I got two of them. That's a Bellini. Yeah, it looks all like a real apple. Yeah, it's sure. not alcoholic. That's just an oat latte. Um... Lucky saying. Oh, oh, and they had crates, but I couldn't carry it. I literally couldn't carry it all. They had full crates for free because they had too much drinks. I know, well, that's why I, I did say. <laughs> yeah, lucky saying. And then rum oh, sour. Oh, yeah, you can have one of them. And then we've got we've got loads. Mate. I'm going to get drunk oh, we've, got, we've got pale ale. I've got you a pale oh, ale because I don't really like that. that. Yeah. We've got nitro. I don't know what this is. That might be like a cranberry little, lime. Like nitro might be one of the ones that go that gets a Oh on yeah. That's another that's espresso martini. Yum. I got two of them because I know you like one of them. Oh, and then I got this book. This is by Millie who ran, ran the so event. Have you not read that before? No, I've not read it. And then last one. This one. That's like a margarita. Margarita? Sounds pretty. So. Good, isn't it? Yeah, that's really good. I actually fancy yeah. that. Yeah. Which one are you going to go for? Probably going to go for Dark and Stormy. Dark and Stormy. I knew that would be right up your... It's not called Dark and Stormy. It's called Dark and Spicy. So that's the end of the video. Make sure you hit subscribe and stick around for the next video because the next one will be about my weight loss journey and how it's going before IVF.